the debate really centers around uh, whether immigrants take jobs away from Americans or not. The people who are against immigration say that, that they do take jobs away, that Americans would fill these jobs if immigrants didn't. And in your firm, and what is your informed opinion on this topic? I don't think that's, I think that there are many jobs that only immigrants are willing to take, mm -hmm. especially uh, sort of insecure jobs in, in, in agriculture that pay very little and that don't carry benefits. Um, and what would you say to the argument that if immigrants didn't take these jobs, the conditions around these jobs would be better for American citizens to work in? Uh, these jobs have been around for a long time even when there were very few immigrants to take them, but they still did not improve. And who took, who took these jobs and immigrants weren't there to take them? There was a time when American minorities took these jobs, uh, African Americans and, uh, and Hispanic Americans, Puerto Ricans, and people from the Southwest of Mexican origin. Now, how do you see the role of immig as immigrants take these jobs? How do you think that um, affects the economy as a whole for the States. It keeps the price of certain things down, mm -hmm. so other people benefit indirectly from it. For example, cheap restaurants. If uh, people were paid better salaries and better conditions, then the prices would go up. Now, some people argue that uh, immigration and it's in its illegal form. Um, is keeping legal, immigra um, legal immigrants from getting better wages and that although it keeps prices lower, um, it's unfair to have people work for such low wages. I agree that it's unfair, to, but if, if uh, people really have necessity, they'll do whatever they, whatever they have to do to make a living, even if it's unfair. I don't think that the problem with the economy is immigrants. I think the problem with the economy is the way our economic system operates. <laughs> and uh, that basically it's uh, everything that, the machine that keeps our economy running is just driven by profit, and that's it. And so very few people get very rich and everybody else gets poorer. And I think that's the reason that we're in a recession right now and why so many people are going without what they need. And um, I don't, I, I definitely don't think that immigrants are the reason I believe immigration took apart, but also a lot of other things took apart. Because uh, immigrants are not only workers, they're also consumers. So they provide, they, they provide a market for consumer goods, even illegal immigrants. They have to eat and they have to, to wear clothes. So they provide they provide a market for cheap for cheap goods. It would be good for the economy. It would definitely be good for the economy. I mean, you've got people who are already consumers. They are renters or homeowners. Mm -hmm. So they're already paying those taxes through their rent or through uh, their their uh, mortgages or you know if they so they they're paying those those taxes already whenever they buy anything they pay taxes and um, many of them do choose to file their, their federal income taxes um, and so um, I think it would be a great boost for our economy if you had you know, millions of people throughout the country all of a sudden having this great weight lifted off their shoulders and this great fear removed from them I think that would be great euphoria in, in uh, a lot of places uh, in this country. Um, and I think you would see an economic boost there. And uh, the idea is to sort of, let's bring people out of the shadows. Let's not keep them down there. You know, it's not good for anybody. And, um, you know, let's make them part of the system. Not personally for me, but I can understand, especially when I was living in the South, that was an issue. Mm -hmm. um, I worked in a restaurant, and the restaurant hired a lot of illegal immigrants because they work cheaper, mm -hmm. and they work harder. We as, I'm going to speak for what I see, we as ourselves, 
we tend to be lazy because everything is sometimes handed to us or it comes so easy. People who, who don't have the advantages we have tend to work harder for things and, you know, try to hold on to it and don't take it advantage of as much. Like, for instance, on the weekend I work at um, an organization called ACS, it's Administration for Children's Services, and there's a lot of African workers there, and they work triple shifts. They can do, in a weekend, 40 hours. And I'm like, I'm not working a double, I'm not working a triple. And the supervisor no, did not ask me to work a double or a triple, but the Africans would do it. Why? Because they need the money, they're supporting their families, and they're hard workers. And they're quick to say, well, you American people are lazy. And sometimes it is true. Everything is handed to us, it comes to us so easy, so we take it for advantage.